What is up guys, Tony here, and today I am being very impatient, very impatient. Uh, I'm waiting for my uh, hard drive to come, and my graphics card, and my monitor, and various other parts that will be coming in the next week, and I really want to game right now, because I have a lot of free time to myself, and I want to be able to game a little bit, and I don't have a hard drive to put all my games on, so I decided I'm going to take my old Western Digital, my book, one terabyte, I think it's a 5400 RPM, and I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to take out the drive and stick it into my computer. So I thought it'd be a fun video to record here. So I already started here in the back. You can see this is coming off a bit. And what I'm doing is I'm just going through with a flathead screwdriver, and I'm trying to see if I could wedge this thing open. All right, I uh, just manhandled it and just ripped off the black casing. And you can see here that we have a Western Digital 3.5 inch, uh, 8 megabyte of cache, that's really small, uh, 1 terabyte drive. So this is a very slow, but it'll work type of drive. Uh, it definitely is, ha it does have a uh, few years on it. In fact, it was, it's dated 17th of June 2009, which is probably about a couple of months after I bought it. So this is a very old drive. I'm going to go ahead and switch out my, my head on my screwdriver. And we're going to start seeing what we have to unscrew here, unscrew here to get it out. So the first thing I see here is a little bit of a handle. I'm not sure what this is for. We'll just put that to the side. And you can see here this is where the I.O. comes out of. Um, so let's go ahead and just start unscrewing. It looks like there's a bit of a cooler here, if you will. And um, it looks like I'm going to try to get this I.O. out first. And I'm not sure where to start with that. Let's just start unscrewing things. There's actually like a whole cooling chassis here, which is very odd. But I guess you need that when you have a hard drive and a little plastic case. In fact, I've heard that's the reason why many people open these things, is to put it into a new enclosure, because the enclosure here is quite shit, as they say. So we'll just unscrew this. Screw this. Continuing on here. And this is going to be a long video. Because after I finish this part, the next part is definitely going to be installing it into the computer. And seeing if it works. If it doesn't, oh well, life goes on. As has been said in the song before. This is a very long screw, it seems like. Either that or... No, it's a pretty long screw. Hmm. Either that or uh, it's just being stubborn. But I guess we'll see in a second. We'll get this other one out. There we go. So there we go. We got the whole thing out. There's the hard drive once again, but you can see the I.O. is still there. So we're going to have to find a way to get this off. There it goes. There's the chassis for the I.O. So here we are inside the case. We're going to take out one of these sleds here. I'm going to bring it over here. And we are going to go ahead and drop this drive into the sled. There's all the holes for the screws. We're going to go ahead and start screwing those in. Screw, screw, screw. Slowly but surely, and I don't mean temple, there we go. So yeah, I'll probably be using this drive for uh, games, mainly, applications. Uh, it's a slow drive, we'll see how slow it is. It is 8 megabyte of cache, but it might do the job. We'll see how it functions, and we will go from there. So now the drive is in. Now, we need to connect the SATA. Alright, I got a SATA connection. A nice white one. I love white SATA. So now we've got the drive all hooked up. We've got the computer all pre prepped up for uh, boot up here. Looks like all the wires are in properly. And it's all hooked up, so hit the power button. And the computer starts. And now... It looks like we're going to have to move over to the display. And you'll see that we have a 
my book. It's still titled my book, D Drive. So I got the drive in. I think it was a pretty successful install there. Uh, I think it worked out pretty good. Uh, changing out the drives like that. So if you guys have a, an external drive laying around, especially a MyBook one, uh, because most of these are very high quality Western Digital drives, it's worth uh, taking it out and putting it in your machine if you do need a drive. I mean, really in reality, what's the difference between an external and an internal drive? In my opinion, not much. So it's a great idea. I recommend it to all of you guys. That is pretty much it. I'm Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.